Dree Squad, what is going on? It's your boy Dreezy coming to you here with a brand new video. Now here in this video, I'm going to put a little disclaimer here out at the very get-go. This is a little different than what I normally post on my channel, you guys. So with that being said, the younger audience, I suggest you do not watch this because language is going to be up there with for a more mature audience. It's going to be for entertainment purposes only. Mostly why I make videos is for entertainment purposes only. But this one in particular is going to be a straight rant. The Whatever Wednesday is going to be postponed to tomorrow. Sorry, guys. But anyway, down here in this new fancy studio thing that I've set up, you know, I got a fake mic right here. It doesn't work anymore. Using it for show and tell. So be it. But anyway, into the main topic of today's video. A while ago, I told myself, let's make an Idiots of Snapchat video. Never followed through with it. However, the request has been very high. Why? Because the idiots keep coming to Snapchat. What I mean by this, if you don't have a Snapchat, well, that's probably a good thing, you know? I remember back when Snapchat first came out, you know, it was it was a good app. Everyone enjoyed it. People weren't posting dumb snap stories all the time, and that's what this whole thing's about. The snap stories, okay? It, it's ridiculous. It's gotten out of hand. I'm not going to name any specific names throughout this video. I'm going to throw that out there right now. So, if you find that, you know, you don't agree with what I'm saying, so be it. That's your decision and your thoughts. My thoughts are, and a bunch of other people's thoughts are, wow, there's a bunch of is out on Snapchat. That's what the whole thing is. First things first, the thing that I probably see the most now here to this day, February 7th, 2018, the thing that I see the most, and I could go through my snap story right now and I could see a bunch of Fortnite victories. Thing that I will not understand, and the thing is, is I just started playing Fortnite the other day, and even if I get a victory, I'm not going to post it on my snap story. Why? Because no one gives seven shades of crap about it. One after another, like we give a crap. And then people go and complain about it and they're like, why are you whining about my snap stories? I mean, if you don't like them, don't click on them. You d if we don't like them, that's probably a reason why we're telling you because no one wants to see it, no one cares, you're wasting your time, you're making yourself look like an idiot, and it's just downright stupid. Fortnite, yeah, I used to talk a lot of shit about it, okay? I started playing it again with Grease, we actually started a brand new series tonight as well, so again, three videos I'll to upload, oh my Jesus. But, yeah, I talked a lot of crap about it. But it doesn't matter. The victories are victories. I'm going to use the same reference like I did in my past videos. If I were to post every single win that I got on Call of Duty, there'd be 700 victories up on my Snap Store. No one wants to see that. I respect that. Cat, get away from me. The point is, is to think, okay? Just think. What audience are you trying to, you know, impress? If you're a professional gamer, go for it. However, I don't even see professional gamers doing it. Why? Because they probably realize, hey, it's stupid. No one wants to see it, why are we still doing it? that That's the Fortnite part. The next part, the bath bombs. But I don't know what this world has come to when it comes to making dumb product for no reason. Kind of like the smart pillow. Who the hell needs a smart pillow? But the bath bombs, you drop this little ball into water and it dissolves and it changes color. whoop de freaking do People go, oh, it sets the mood. No, it don't. No, it doesn't. Don't don't give me that. It does not set the mood. All it does is it make you look like a toddler because you're changing the color of your water and then you go and you post on your snap story which makes you look like an even bigger idiot. I should have said this at the beginning, but you know, people are probably saying like, Dreezy, I mean, it's not like you've never posted a dumb snap story. I'll admit it, I did. Have I learned from it? Hell yes, I have. Why? Because looking back on it, yeah, it was pretty stupid of me to do that. But anyways, bath bombs. No point. Like I said before, it's like going into Chuck E. Cheese, you, bu you spend 40 freaking dollars on uh, tokens to go and get, you know, five dollars worth of tickets and you go and you buy a bath bomb pill looking thing because I've seen it last time I was there. And what you do with these little pill things is you can either A, throw it in the water and it changes or they have ones where you throw it in the water and it turns into a freaking dinosaur or something. So technically you're spending forty dollars on tokens to get these stupid water coloring things when you can Change the color of your water by doing so many different things. Food coloring, your own pee. Not going there, not going there. Which leads me to another thing. You, even if you do get bath bombs, why are you posting on your snap store? I keep getting off topic. No one wants to see your shiny legs from a filter changing colored water. Okay, it, it doesn't make any sense to me. And I don't care what anyone says. You're not going to persuade me into thinking that bath bombs are cool. Because they are not. I, I'm sorry. They, they are just downright stupid. Stupid. But anyways, into the next thing here, you know, another thing that I've seen a ton is this D8 or this, the ooh la la, the hearts, all that other stuff, and you're probably saying, well, Dreezy, that's just because you don't have a girlfriend, you understand. You're right, I don't understand. What is there to understand? You know, even if I did have a girlfriend, 
I'm not gonna go and just post pictures of them on my snap story. Why? Because if we're dating people, obviously no, we're going to be dating because you know, word, the word gets out fairly fast. I don't have to go and post pictures of it. Yeah, we can take pictures, save them to the camera roll, set them as wallpapers, whatever the hell you guys do with it. But then you know, you have your, your bowl of spaghetti and it can say D8. And the thing that I respect are the people who are dating and they don't post those things on their snap stories. Those are the people that I respect. To follow that up, completely forgot about this, is breaking up with someone. If you break up with someone, great. Okay, I mean, dating in high school, I could have told you, yeah, you're gonna break up within a few months to begin with. Because, you know, people get mad over stupid stuff and then, you know, it leads to one thing to another. That's just how this world works nowadays and it sucks to say that, but it's true. You know, I can't tell you how many people I have removed on Snapchat from stupid stuff like this, including the Fortnite. Wow, I've gotten rid of like 15 people just because of how out of hand it got and I barely even talked to them to begin with. So I was just like, you know what, forget it, I don't care. This breaking up crap, okay, if you break up, Great, like I said. Don't go and make it a worldwide event, okay? Now what I mean by this is people go and they, they take their little sad pictures looking out of the window like, mm, I miss my boo and all this other where, where to go, where to go with this, where to go with this. There's too many things to say and I don't want to bring out too much negativity about it. Don't post that on your snap story. A, it makes you look like a complete and B, it makes your boyfriend look bad or your ex-boyfriend or your ex-girlfriend, whatever the hell. It specifically makes you look bad. And it's kind of like those pe people who take those goth pictures looking out of the rainy windows like, you know, like that. Why? Oh, 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 why? You just want attention and the attention you're going to get is going to be negative. Kind of like that stupid Sahara app or Sara app or whatever the hell it's called. I don't know. But that is the dumbest app I have ever seen when it comes to people on Snapchat because, you know, you can do that little swipe thing and they, they can go and they can comment something on it. And there's been people that I know, and I'm not going to say their name. But they're always like, oh man, I miss my blue and all this other stuff. And then they go and they do the Sahara thing right after. Wow. Did you not think before you did that? Because, let me tell you. And then they screenshot what people said and throw it up on their story. The stuff people say should be a good eye opener for people when, you know, like, there's been times where I've seen screenshots of like, nobody cares, there's probably a reason they dumped you, da 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 da, so on and so forth. And they're right, okay? Don't go and make it a public event and then use Sahara afterwards to try and get some positive messages because three-fourths of the time out of everyone that I've seen, it's been negative. And then, you know, they, they cry even more and they're just like, oh, 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 oh why? Why me? <sighs> People blow my mind nowadays, you guys. And oh, I completely forgot. While they're, they're posting these screenshots, you know, People like to cross out things just so there's no negative stuff on their snap story, which is a big ding, ding, ding. What's going on, guys? They talk shit about me. Oh, no. And, you know, the thing that I've always loved watching is, you know, they go and they do the Sahara thing. They get negative feedback from it. And, like, during it, they'll say, like, you don't scare me or you think you're so tough, all this other stuff. As if the person who posted the Sahara on their snap story is, like, some big, big guy, you know, and I've never seen a guy do Sahara, by the way, either. It's always been girls. And don't take that the wrong way, because with this world nowadays, people are going to be like, oh, you hate girls. No, I love girls, okay? Do not take that the wrong way. But I've always seen them on girl snap stories, and, you know, it's, it's amazing, because then after it, they show a picture of them crying in a mirror or something like that, because they go, how come, da 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 why is it always me, stuff like this. I can't say anything, but you brought that on yourself. And you know, this is a, this video hopefully should be an eye opener to some of these people who are posting stuff like this. And then I've got two more left here. This is kind of a long rant video, I know, and I'm sorry because I'm starting to go off, again, for a mature audience, entertainment purposes only. But sports, Let, let's just talk about the sports field on Snapchat. People who constantly are posting basketball videos of the NBA or, you know, NHL stuff, baseball, football, you name it on their snap story. I click right through along with people who are singing. If you sing on your snap story, chances are I'm going to skip right through it and go, heh, garbage, skip it, you know, stuff like that. Because Snapchat's become a cancerous place. But anyway, the snap scorecaster is the people who really want to be an ESPN reporter. Or maybe they don't and they, they, you know, they just do this for, you know, whatever. But they go and they post all these scores and stuff on their snap stories. Or they're like, oh, nice play. And I look at that as, well, you know, if we wanted to watch that game, we would be watching it. We don't need to watch it on a snap story that's, you know, either an A, like 480p or 720p where it's all pixelated and bullcrap. If we wanted to watch the game, we'd be watching it on the television. Or... You know, there's this fancy app out there called the ESPN Score Center where if we want to know all the scores, we just go there. I, I mean, it's pretty simple. But yeah, that, that's that. The final thing, and this is the one that makes me the most mad out of all of them, is the party chats. I'm not talking like groups of people. I'm like just in a chat thing, you know, talking. I'm talking partying underage on their snap stories. The party chats. I go and I look 
and I'm trying to think what possesses one if you are underage to post a snap story of you partying, drinking alcohol, smoking, all this other stuff. What possesses one to do that? Because A, all your other friends who are also underage is going to see that and they're going to go like, wow, don't want to hang out with this guy. That's what it is. And I'm going to be serious with this one. It, this should be an eye opener. You guys, it's one thing to party, but it's another thing to party and post it so the world can see it, especially if you're underage. If you're above age, go, good, go for it. Have a good time. Enjoy your life. But if you're underage and you're doing this kind of stuff, A, it's wrong to be doing that stuff to begin with. And, you know, that's just my parents raised me correctly. Like my parents, you know, drilled and killed don't do that kind of stuff so as my school and with my school i barely ever see it it's like with schools around me the smoking and the drinking stuff underage isn't cool we us people who go and we aren't into partying and we see that stuff on snap stories we look at that and we're like wow it's unbelievable it's kind of sad you know that you know people haven't you know told people no they just keep coming they and no one says anything and that's the thing that frustrates me the most and like I said, it's one thing to party underage, but it's another thing to go and post it worldwide. Or like on Instagram now, everyone's making these stupid spam accounts so they can go and they can post all their pictures so their parents don't see it. And you're probably thinking, Dries, you're not Dr. Phil, what the hell are you doing? But I'm being serious here, you know? I don't want to lecture or anything, but it's just no one wants to see it on their snap story, and that is that. And I just thought of another one. People who go and they post these stupid songs on their Snapchat stories, like, look, at, listen to this song, you guys, this song's great, all this other stuff. Three-fourths of the time, it's some hobo rapper dude and they're just terrible i'm gonna be completely honest with you it sounds like they recorded it with a mic that was shoved down someone's throat and they were recording it from the outside of that person's throat that's what it sounds like okay and then they begin at the beats the beats are always so off tempo and crap that it's unbelievable and don't get me wrong i'm not good with beats either i've got a freaking piano over there just waiting to make sounds and i haven't done it because i'm not good with it i need to learn and this is a video where y'all should learn don't post stupid stuff and you know now that my head freaking hurts i've got a bad headache i've got a scratchy throat two things just got killed from this video talking about idiots of snapchat hopefully you guys enjoyed the idiots of snapchat if you guys did be sure to drop a thumbs up and you know i want to hear some snapchat stories down below tell me something that you've noticed that drives you insane as well and dree squad thank you so much much for helping me reach 649 subs almost 650 greatly appreciated let's keep that bill and again this video is for entertainment purposes only a more mature audience hopefully you guys enjoy and it's been your boy dreezy and i will see you guys tomorrow in the whatever wednesday i'll catch you guys later peace out